back toy fans so today I brought you another green arrow um, I had him sitting on a shelf for a little while I just never really opened them yet I've been waiting for it but now I'm like you know what screw it let's do it so he is Star City's Emerald Archer the green arrow sets his sights and targets your collection with his dynamic dynamic mini statue so I'm expecting this to be kind of small and of course there's a Batman Wonder Woman. Not bad. Not bad. He has like a bronze look to him. It's really freaking cool. And kind of like, because I want to put my arrow shelf here together really, really soon. So, I'm excited. DC Collectibles. Yep. That's pretty it. That's pretty much it right there. Alright. Let's open this dude. On the top of the box. Arrow logo. That's so cool. Think about designing a shirt, but I need to find a logo that bets fits it. So, all right, let's get this guy open. I got him, I believe, from um, the Big Bad Toy Store not too long ago. Um, yes, they're still on holds. They're still, I'm still waiting on stuff from them. Um, I did cancel a bunch of stuff, but there's a few things I'm keeping. Um, I am still trying to get more green arrow stuff and I have a bunch of them actually so there's one I want to get um, was it sideshow did it, did it or something like that but it's, they only made like 500 of them and it's like a $500 statue and I'm sure it's more now so so obviously I'm the first one to open this tape has not been touched very nice very nice and I'll use my buddy's fancy knife it's like a bat knife doesn't come close to the original but the skull is awesome Remember, guys, safety first. Always point towards your face. Just kidding. Don't do that. Okay. So, work him out of here without trying to damage this thing. Because I like to keep certain boxes of certain things, like statues. In this case, I get overwhelmed and want to sell something, and I need to make room for other stuff. It's good to have good transportation. So, obviously, if they're mailing this stuff. somewhere now okay let's crack the egg oh he is little guys oh he's little I gotta do the bottom now if I can just split it open oh he is little guys he really is I think my I think my seven inch figure um, that I got not too long ago is actually taller but still he looks he looks cool from my saw I saw his head though all right let's try that again Boom. Ta da. Okay. Let's get them out of there. What's cool about them is there's nothing I have to put together. Looks like it all comes together. Okay. He has the classic, I call it like the Robin Hood look, the little hat thing going on. All right. Let me get him out of his plastic first. Okay. He does have his comic book. look going on here yeah all right so his skin looks like a goldish copper looking color his beard has like a goldish look to it then his green if you notice it's like a mix with like a copperish gold to a green tint to it his boots are almost full, fully green yes yeah, quiver same thing so like I said it's a classic look for it it's awesome full amount of arrows in there he even has the little feather in a hat which is Pretty hard, guys. That's good. Obviously, he doesn't pose. Let's see. There's the bottom of it. So they probably made a bunch of these. So, yeah, he's he's cool. He's sitting on top of a building. Classic arrow. Almost like a Batman thing going on. All right, his bow. I like his bow. Actual string. Yeah, you can probably break off the bow or the arrow real easy. Be careful. Be very careful with him. Yeah, he is a collector. He is not a toy, guys. He has a pretty good weight to him. Like I said, he's not posable at all. But he is amazing. Oliver Queen. This is pretty much like the comic book legend of him right here. No hood, no nothing. 
Yep. What's cool about him, he's always actually been kind of like a comedian. Compared to him and Batman, Batman actually is Bruce Wayne, but is Batman. So he has two sides to him. Oliver Queen is pretty much maintaining the same mindset as he is as the Green Arrow. He still does jokes and all that stuff too or whatever, unlike the Stephen Amell version on TV. The Stephen Amell version kind of took up the whole Batman thing, how the Arrow is completely different. So compared to his counterpart, Oliver Queen. So, two sides, his two stories. Well, this this Green Arrow, though, he's straight up. If I'm the Green Arrow, or I'm Oliver Queen, I'm the same dude. So, it's just one is badass, and the other one's a playboy. So, that's not bad, guys. Let's look at it one more time. That is so cool, though. I should put it on the spinny thingy. Like I said, it's too fast sometimes. This is a pretty, pretty statue. He doesn't feel like plastic either, guys. He's like a hard, hard something. Well, probably not metal, obviously, but die cast, some kind of hard die cast. It's beautiful. I've been waiting for him forever. Now I can finally start putting my Green Arrow shelves together and display them. So I can do a video on that. So Green Arrow is actually my probably the top of the line favorite guy, thanks to Stephen Amell. Um, the classic's cool. I got to know him a little bit. There's a bunch of different stories about him, how he explains how he lost his arm. So there's a, there's a version, uh, Deathstroke took it off, Superman took it off. There's one where he shoved his hand into a device or something like that to stop an explosion. Oh, man. Comic books are so cool because they they bring your mind. They make you think, and anything can happen, especially in a multiverse. So I think deep down we will see Stephen Amell again. So, and it could be a different multiverse version of him or something. Well, guys, hope you like this. Like, share, subscribe, and remember, you can never, ever go wrong with toys. Except for statues. You can break them, so be careful and gentle. All right, guys. Till next time, kitties.